So I chose this problem mostly because it's going to be a lot of fun to integrate. So we need to integrate this function over the interval from 0 to pi over 2, and then divide by the length of the interval, pi over, 1 over pi over 2. So the average is going to be 1 over the length of the interval. And then we integrate from 0 to pi over 2 sine of 2x multiplied with cosine squared so this is going to be inverted becomes 2 over pi and then we need to somehow integrate a sine of 2x with the cosine squared of x well in order to do that we either need both of these to be 2x or both of these to be x. I think I prefer to change this one and so get an identity for sine of 2x which is 2 times sine of x times cosine of x and the 2 we can factor out so we've now got 4 over pi and then there's a sine of x and there's cosine cubed which is a perfect candidate for u substitution so inside this cube function there is the cosine function so let u equal cosine of x The derivative of that is negative sine of x. This doesn't have a negative sign, so we just need to move that over to the other side. And then this has sine of x dx, and this has sine of x dx, so it's perfectly set up for the u substitution. So I would. I would write it as 4 over pi and then integrate and leave off the 0 on pi over 2 because I'm going to switch over to the u system for a moment and these are for x's. So you've got cosine to the third so that's going to be u to the third and then replacing the sine of x and the dx is just a negative the negative can go out here du. So we've got negative 4 over pi and then this is u to the 4 over 4 and the 4's are going to cancel so we get negative and then the de denominator there's pi and then replace u so we've got cosine to the fourth. Evaluated from 0 to pi over 2. So we could even factor out the 1 over pi and then just evaluate cosine at pi over 2. Minus cosine at 0. Well, cosine of 0 is 1, and cosine of pi over 2 is 0, so this is gone, and this is just a 1. So if that's just a 1, then finally this is going to be a negative times negative, and the answer is just 1 over pi. A little bit smaller than a third. <laughs>